What do you get when you take this and this and you put them together? You get this. Hey guys. Hi guys. Alrighty, so we have a very cool video because a very cool statue was sent to us from DC, and that is the Supergirl and Batgirl celebration statue. Mm -hmm. So if you know our channel and you know Ashley, she's a big bombshell statue collector from DC Collectibles. We have quite a bit of them, and we've seen this one, probably the artwork, a mm -hmm. little while yeah. now. And yeah, we have. That thing looks really cool because they're starting to make scenes mm -hmm. out of them. Which is making me think, gosh, my pocketbook is really going to start hurting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so first off, we need to open it up, and we have mm -hmm. not opened it, so this is going to be all brand new for us, uh, which is always fun. Take the top off here. Ooh, we have an artist print. Ooh, those are my favorite. <laughs> Tell us on the top there, artist print number two. That's always fun to get an artist proof. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't really like make it any more um, no, it's you know, just like, valuable uh, or special, but it's really cool to have one. Yeah, it just makes it stand to. out in your collection a little bit more like, oh, I have an artist proof here. And reason being, the artist had to look at it and decide, right. yes, that's that's good. That'll work. So you know it's going to be good. And you know extra anyways. time and detail was spent yes. on these. <laughs> um, now we love the artwork of this. Aunt Lucia, mm -hmm. he's the one who does all the bombshell artwork. He's Honestly, amazing, amazing stuff. Yeah. And it's still going. I yes. can't believe He's it's still going. He's one of my going. favorite artists ever. <laughs> yeah, it's, they're just continuing <laughs> the line like crazy. And uh, interesting enough, it they, these are releasing this week. Yes. So if you guys uh, see the video and are interested in this, go out to your local shops or we'll put some links down below for you to order some. The hardest part of the video is always opening the tape yes. on the styrofoam. It's always my least favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Let's take the top off here. This should be pretty big, actually, and it looks to yes. be. These are your one-six scale, usually. So now that we have two and one, you can kind of get an idea of how, how big it's going to be. So I'll get the base out first. Whoa! <laughs> that base is sick. You can see Supergirl's boot there. Mm -hmm. I know, I saw that in there, and I was like, that's kind of creepy, but really cool. <laughs> I love the smell. The, the new statue paint <laughs> smell or whatever, I don't know what it is, but I, I just love like, it. Hmm. How is my pregnant brain gonna like this? I was like, I really like this stuff. <laughs> so, uh, bottom of it looks great. The detail is fantastic. You got rusty metal column pieces. The beams. And yeah, stuff. the beams, the scratches in it, and then you know the paneling. That's sort of what we see like in the Harley Quinn. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's like a like, like a, a plane, an like airplane, yeah, yeah, a bomber plane or something, something along those lines. Uh, sheet metal that has come off with the billets, and this one even has a bend in it, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, paint app on it is done really, really well. I love the, the smoke, smoke cloud. And the boot. Yeah. yeah, so. And I like how the smoke wraps around her boot. I know, it's it's going to be great. So let's put that on the base here and okay. uh, continue into the box. Okay, and, I'm going to uh, get Supergirl because honestly, when I was looking at the artwork, I was fascinated by her. I know I already have her single standalone one, but this one where she has Ooh. the beams coming out of her eyes, I love that. Ooh, those are very fragile. <laughs> I poked it and I was like, oh, crap. Oh, those are. <laughs> yeah. Very sharp. Yes. Very, very small, very yes. delicate. So be careful of those. I was like, oh my God, did I break that? That was the one went through my head. Well, I think we know where to put her. Yeah, I'm going to let you do that because I don't want to. Okay. I'm very clumsy. So it just has a long peg here on the leg. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be too difficult to put in there. I don't believe anyways. You never know. So, nope, pretty easy. Oh, man, she's goes right gorgeous. in there. And I love the, the swoop yes. of it. Yes. So it's got a good curve like a, to it. Yeah. Like, whoosh. Whoosh. Is that like an S curve or yeah. no? Yeah, not really, but Darn. it's close. I it's thought close. I'd throw an artwork out there. Yeah. Her body's an S curve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay, so uh, let's. you want to grab the Batgirl? Yeah. So Batgirl is one of my favorite, uh, just the regular bombshells. You remember when we had to mm -hmm. run her down trying to find yes. it? Yes. And All then eventually over. they re-released re it, thankfully, because we missed mm -hmm. it on the first go-round. She was one of the first ones when we were very upset we missed it. Yeah. Uh, same thing with Black Canary. Luckily, they came out with that, too. I wanted that one so bad. Black Canary is my absolute favorite. And I, honestly, if I didn't have her, my collection would not be complete. <laughs> okay, there we go. Ooh, she doesn't feel super yeah, I solid. think we're missing something here. There we ah. go. That was a little hard. We were putting her backwards and that sideways. That makes more and, sense. But, yeah, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so there we go. We have it all as one. This wow. is stunning. Honest to goodness, this is probably one of my favorite 
statues that we own just because of how dynamic it is the design like there's so much detail i didn't notice all of the detail especially in supergirl's outfit i, mm -hmm. I guess i did not realize all that when i looked at the artwork but now seeing the statue the silk it's material. beautiful all right so let's go over it real quick we have supergirl first off the hair movement love it i, I mean love she looks it. like she's flying up and down at the same time almost. and i love how you can see like the different lengths in her hair and how mm -hmm. thick and full it is very layered mm -hmm. uh those those eye beams though mm -hmm. i mean come on Oh, those are sick. Yes. That looks awesome. This is like the real Batman versus Superman. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if they made a Batgirl versus it Supergirl sure does look movie. like she's about to blow her head off. Doesn't yeah. That the way they're <laughs> yeah. yeah. She, Batgirl ought to be running from this. <laughs> Uh, but love the scarf going in the mm -hmm. wind as well. Her pointing. Mm -hmm. Like, these are actions in a statue that might not seem like uh, any big deal, but they really help develop the shape, yes. um, the overall silhouette of the statue, mm -hmm. where she's pointing and her mm -hmm. hair is going this way and her scarf is going off to the side. Mm -hmm. These all build silhouette, and uh, I think that's what's like uh, really impressing me the most, especially with Supergirl. Uh, her outfit is a, a lot like the regular one. Matter of fact, let's grab the old one so yeah. we can kind of compare. All right, so there is the old, the regular, standalone versions. Mm -hmm. And with Supergirl, she's wearing the same outfit. Uh, she looks a little bigger, though, to me. Yeah, she's a lot bigger, actually. I was thinking the Quite same a bit thing. Bigger. They both look taller and longer and, I don't know, maybe Just more scale sleek. Just scale-wise, yeah. yeah. Um, I definitely would say I like the scale on this one better. I do, too. Uh, she, they're just bigger. They mm -hmm. look bigger all around, all around. And if I'm being honest, I like her hair in this one better than the standalone. I like the curls and the flips, um, but I also like how loose her hair mm -hmm. looks in this. Yeah, I think just overall the way they shaped it and put yes. it together, it just looks better, mm -hmm. uh, better on that one. I'm noticing this Supergirl. There's a lot of detail in it that I guess I didn't even notice in the standalone when we reviewed yeah. that. I want to say the color, the blue, is a lot sharper. Yes. A I lot doing, more saturated. Yes. It's deeper. It's. I honestly think that the color Pops. of that one is a little bit prettier than the other one. Maybe it's because I've had this one so long, but I don't think it's gotten sun bleached. The room's pretty dark where we're yeah. at. So. <laughs> but as far as detail goes, you have the super logo on her gloves, like you said earlier. Mm -hmm. There's a lace pattern on her outfit, her gloves mm -hmm. and her top. Right. Uh, the belt, again, you have the super logo there on the front. And they both have that. It's just not as presentable yeah. and noticeable in that one. Right. And, and even her boots are a lot more glossy. Mm -hmm. So I they agree. actually do look more leather or latex or whatever they are. I kind of got to say it because it's kind of weird, but like she got some big old butt. She's got a this. booty. <laughs> yeah, I like... noticed that too. I was like, even the curve of her butt is yeah. nice. <laughs> I mean, let's just be real here. Uh, so yeah, that is Supergirl Smoke. Mm -hmm. Great wisp. It almost mimics right. her hair too. It does. Which it does. just helps again overall the silhouette. One more thing I want to point out. Her skirt is different in the standalone than it is in this one. The standalone has more creases and wrinkles. It's yeah. more perfect. And this one is more like battle ready. S separated. More yeah. spread out. Yeah. All right, so you want to talk about Batgirl? Yeah, sure. Um, I love the scale difference again. Like Batgirl is a lot bigger in this one than she is in her standalone. And another thing that is different is her cape is much bigger in this one than it is in this one. That's true. Um, and her cape is coming out of the other side of her backpack than it does in that. So her hair is about the same. I mean, uh, I, I think, think it's the, the same even curl almost. It just seems, it maybe it's a little more realized in the regular version mm -hmm. than in this new version. Yeah. These don't have this thin lines, right. fine detail. It's maybe. got more thicker cuts mm -hmm. in it, which is fine because yeah. it could be, you know, battle stuff. I don't know. The colors are slightly different again. And in, in this one, they're a little bit more bold and crisp. And I can appreciate that. And this one, they're duller. And I don't know if it's because they were trying to differentiate the two because they knew Possible. this was coming out or because this one was supposed to be, you know, a, a different time. So things weren't as vibrant as they are today. What, what I'm noticing here, uh, the boots are standing out to me. Yeah. Uh, the boots on this new version are way better to paint yes. back on. They are crisp. They are mm -hmm. nice. They are faded. Lots yes. of colors. Good airbrushing. These ones uh, are more like really mustard nice. and another shade of mustard. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they exactly. They kind of blend together. Yeah. Um, I, honestly, I think that's the biggest difference when I look at mm -hmm. these. The color, uh, the paint apps on yes. these are way upgraded. And that surprises me because I look, I look at the bombshells thinking, I these know. are some of the best $100 statues you can get. Uh -huh. And then I see these and I'm like, oh crap, you guys really, you could upgrade you the paint. I didn't, think, the yeah, yeah. I didn't think you could do that. So yeah, I mean, and again, you have the uh, the battering on a rope, which this time mm -hmm. it's, it feels, it's just like a vinyl plastic as opposed to a rope. Um, that way they can shape it, mm -hmm. which is really uh, done really well. Uh, just overall in these statues, I think it's just, uh, again, 
the way that you have different shapes yes. moving in the different movement. Yeah, it's it just forms mm -hmm. really well. So in conjunction with Aunt Lucia, uh, you got Tim Miller who did the sculpt, so I think that they've sort of created this perfect They're like a uh, storm. A yeah, perfect it's storm. a perfect storm. They're a dynamic duo. Yeah, a dynamic duo like these, I guess. So yeah, I mean everything about the statue is great. The vase is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's got weight and um it's got some weight to it, I think. I think it's, so. It's got weight, it's got size, and uh, yeah, and it's, it's got definitely beauty. got beauty, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Again, guys, this is releasing this week. Right now, they should be in stores. Uh, if they're not in your stores, we'll put links down below. We want to say thank you again to DC for sending this statue to us for a review. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.